Hi there students, um, welcome on a clip on how to use the TI-83 or 83 plus or even 84 calculators to compute factorial combinations and uh, permutations. So um, let's go ahead and consider some examples. So what we're going to do is we're going to find, we want to find the value of the following. Okay, find the value of the following. Now let's say you wanted to compute the value of a um, nine factorial. Okay, if you wanted to do this by hand using the factorial definition is nine times eight times seven times six times five, four, three, two, one. All right, and then you can multiply all this uh, products, all these numbers together to find the product. Um, nine times eight times seven times six times five times four times three times two times one. Okay? So there you go, 368, 62,880. What if it, it was a bigger number? It, it takes a lot of time to keep typing in all these numbers, right? So that's what the factorial uh, function in the calculator is for. So uh, let me write down the answer. I'll show you where it is right now. So you're gonna go to math, okay? Other math, if you press the math button, um, right here you press the math button you have math num number complex and then probability so you go all the way to the probability um, menu item by pressing the left button that takes you to probability and you have a whole bunch of probability functions here that you can use so you have npr ncr and factorial so what we need is four the fourth one so you can either press four or you can scroll down to four and hit enter all right so i'll scroll down to four hit enter and that brings up my factorial um, operation. All right. So the way this works is uh, before you do that, you have to enter the number first. So nine, and then math probability four factorial enter. You should get the same answer: three hundred sixty-two thousand eight hundred eighty. All right. There's another way to access that factorial. If you forgot math, you can go to catalog. Cycle function zero takes you to catalog of all the functions that are present in your calculator. So I'm going to scroll up and see if I can find the factorial. See, there you are. Right on the D tray, they have factorial again. All right. So two ways of getting the factorial operation, either choose math or go into the catalog. All right, let's try another example. What if you wanted to do, um, if you wanted to do five factorial, over three factorial. We know how to work this one out, right? So how do we do this with a calculator? So with the calculator, we're gonna have, there it is, five math probability four divided by three math probability four. Enter, and the answer is 20. Okay, so that's 20. All right, let's try one that involves multiple terms in the denominator. What if we had an example where you had to find the value of uh, 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial, 3 factorial, 4 factorial. All right, so let's do this. So we're going to enter this in a calculator, 5, go to math, probability 4, divided. Now, you have to be really careful. Anytime you're entering multiple terms in a denominator for a TI, we have to put it in the parentheses, okay? So parentheses two, um, math probability four, taking two factorial, three, math probability four, three factorial, and then four, math probability four, using four factorial, enter, point four one six six six. All right, so the answer is going to be uh, approximately uh, 0.41666. Okay, so if you wanted to do this by hand and then you get a fractional result, you can you can go ahead and compare your answer. So let's let's go ahead and do this by hand and see if this answer is correct. Okay, so this one is going to become. I'm going to break down five factorial all the way to four. So this is going to become five times four factorial divided by. Did you not get even a came five times four factorial divided by. I'm going to break down this one two times three. And then bring down the 3, 3, what did I just do? So it's going to be 2 times 1. 
2 times 1, by definition of factorial, times 3 times 2 times 1, times 4 factorial. Okay? So I preserve the biggest one for cancellation. So these two cancel out. And then 5 is a prime number, so we, it doesn't go into anything in the denominator. So we have 5 and then the denominator. So we have 5 over, multiply the bottom, 2 times 3 times 2 is 12. Alright, so what is 5 divided by 12? Let's see. 5 divided by 12 is 0.41666. So our answer is correct. So you can always check your answer to see if it's correct. Okay? So that's basically how um, you do factorial with your cal with calculator. What if you wanted to do something like this? You wanted to compute 4 factorial divided by 5 minus 2 factorial. All right, if you're too lazy, you can put in some of the differences on factorials in the denominator. So I know this is 3 factorial, but if I wanted to enter this in my calculator, simply uh, 4 factorial, oops, where I go? Math, 12 over 4, 4 factorial divided by anything you're entering in the denominator, you have to put in parentheses, right? 5 minus 2, uh, probability 4, factorial, all right, the answer is 4. Okay, so let's how about combination of permutation? Number five. What if I wanted to compute um, 5C2, which is also the same thing as C5, 2? How many ways can you choose two items out of five? If you have two at a time without order, how do you do that? We know what the combination formula is, right? NCR equals N factorial over N minus R factorial. R factorial. What if we don't want to do all of this? We just wanted to compute it directly. How do we all this work? Well, we, we can do this with a calculator. Okay? So all you do is you enter the first number, which is 5. Go to math. Probability. You see these two, and item 2 and 3, this is per permutations, and this is combination. Okay? So I need combination, so I'll select 3. And then 2. The second number, enter, the answer is 10. Alright? So let's do that again. You enter your first number, which is a number that comes first before the C or P. You go to math again, probability, and you select option number three because you're doing combination. And then you enter the second number. Bam. All right, so you got 10. Okay? Alternatively, you can use this formula to compute uh, the combination. All right, it'll take you longer, but this is more accurate and quicker. Well, if we're computing the number of ways you can arrange uh, four items picking three at a time, 4P3 or P43. These are the two ways of expressing permutation. And we know what the permutation formula is, right? NPR equals N factorial over N minus R factorial. This is when you're arranging objects. Order is important here. Uh, what if we don't want to use this formula, we just want to use a calculator? Same uh, process, but the only one, the difference here is you're going to use NPR in this case. So you enter the first number, 4, math, probability, item number 2. 2, calls up the NPR function, and then the second number, which is 3, enter. Your final answer is 24. Okay, so they exactly the same as the other procedure, but we're just using the permutation function as opposed to the uh, combination function. So let's do it again. So you go to the first number, second function, I mean, not second function, okay. math, probability four, uh, 2, this is permutation, enter the second number, enter, and that gives you your final result. All right? Thanks for paying attention to this clip. Hope it makes uh, your computation of probability. Of permutation, combination, and factorials easier.